I always see it like a first date, mm -hmm. basically. Um, so you start a bit nervous, like you said, you know, you don't know what to expect. You know, you meet the person for the first time and you try to get like a vibe going and then you get in deeper, you get to know someone and then in a perfect scenario, you end up, so, you know, mm. and then when it comes to like for me, but so did you say you nervous? Always, <laughs> not always. <laughs> really? Yes. Wow. Especially today, you know. Mm. Well, I think the first time we met was uh, a year and a half ago, mm -hmm. I on the island. But the first time we properly like hung out was uh, in Tundum. Yeah. Well, my uh, I think my my missus fell in love with you, meeting you here in the club. <laughs> Uh, you were playing, were you playing it that night or were you just passing through? I was passing through. You were yeah. passing through and then um, she came to me and she said, I just met this dude and he's fucking amazing. You're going to love him, Patrick. And I was like, Patrick who? <laughs> she amazing. I was like, that dude that dances quite like crazy on the decks. She was like, that's the one. He's really cool. And I suggested that I should book you for uh, Day Zero. So I did a deep dive. Yeah. And then we spoke and, um, and then uh, I invited you to come and play at Day Zero. Well, I fell in love with him immediately. I mean, how yeah, did you not? It clicked. Look at this. No, it clicked like instantly. Like it, you feel that the vibe is right and yeah. the energy is like, you know, vibrating on the same level that, you know. I, mean, I think he's brilliant, right? But we don't have to love all the music other people play, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I was like, you know, Patrick, some of that stuff he plays a little bit too fast for me. <laughs> the thing is for me, like I'm, I'm very much versatile in everything that I play, you know? Um, so I'm usually playing techno, but when I started playing at Day Zero, that was, that was the first set that I did a deep dive also in house. That's actually my origin, house music, that's how I started. And after Day Zero, I got so hooked again on playing house music and the vibe that house music transcends yeah. that now I'm playing so many house sets this like I'm having like a couple like eight or nine shows this year on the yeah. island I'm only playing house so I'm actually yeah you turned me back on to you know yeah well I mean don't get me wrong he's he's tech, he's tech, brand of techno is amazing I'm, I'm joking obviously but like he um you know he yeah, he's has a very unique style but just starting to get to know him I was like this guy has like some more soulful energy in here that like, needs to kind of come out. <laughs> so yeah, we pulled that out. Very yeah, much. Yeah, and then I was going to do it here tonight. I think wherever Patrick goes, he makes it his own. So, you know, I mean, I've, I've created this, this amazing space. He's a larger than life character and it's a very larger than life set up in the temple there. So it's got a great compliment. You're in for a treat tonight. Yeah. You're in for a treat. Oh God, that means a change. <laughs> that means various changes of outfits. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> I think I did like, a good job. I wanted to like, you know, infuse the temple like energy, bring a little bit more nomadic style and <laughs> into it. So like no, 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 no. He says that now, but like the way he does it is very subtle. He's like, a hat will come on, and then and then maybe a glove will appear. And everything will be color coordinated. <laughs> we'll find out. I yeah. Guess. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so tonight I'm gonna play, um, I'm gonna do a deep dive into my disco and house roots. So I have something prepared that is a journey through sound of like early disco tracks going into, um, yeah, also some Bedouin and Afro house, uh, something very vibey that, you know, complements the same style that he's playing and elevating it to my level. You know, I'm gonna make it my own, like you said. My first experience. Uh, I was working with, um, I was working with this uh, string sex deck called um, Instrumental, and um, they'd been asked to play at the 25th anniversary of Cafe Del Mar, and uh, they asked me to kind of mix in some like weird sounds and effects with their live set, which was in the sea opposite Cafe Del Mar, and that was my first uh, experience. I think we. Um, we um, bought some dodgy hash from the guys in the marina and uh, the 10 of us stayed in one room, I think in the, the, the whatever jet apartments was called before, it's jet apartments. That was my first experience here. Yeah. Well, my first experience was like 2018 um, when I played for Dixon's party, um, Trans Moderna, together with Matt Radio Slave um, back in the day. <laughs> I don't know if it's like that long ago. Um, but I had like these preconceptions of Ibiza, of course, what you get through hearsay and like word of mouth. Um, I had to accommodate, you know, my own 
vibe and like rhythm to it and it hasn't changed much since then even covid um, didn't make much of a dent in it it's still flourishing it's still very vibrant but i think something needs to happen now because i'm always getting fomo a bit um anxious not anxious the wrong word but i'm fomo it's gonna be okay because every time when I see like from like back from the 90s how Ibiza used to be like the vibes and people are on a different level crazy mm. but they're way more locked in in the moment and in, in the vibe and that's what I'm missing here it's like too much phones everybody is get trying to get the moment so they can prove they were there but they're not really there mm. so that's the one thing that's really sad about we can't show right place there's no phones tonight huh? that's why <laughs> <laughs> But sometimes I'm a bit nervous or, you know, in like, you know, my own zone when I arrive and it can be a bit difficult to kind of like find your feet immediately and then there comes a point where I'm like, right, just step out of that kind of insular thing and then just look, open your eyes a little bit and look around the room and just like make some eye contact with people and understand the people that you're making dance and the people that are, you know, giving you the energy to play the music for them, you know, so this, it's this like constant like, a pulling system, you know. Just last night I was playing in Berlin and like there was a, a moment when uh, you know, I felt that I was like, I've been playing really deep and really trippy for a while and I, I felt that if I could just find the one sound or one thing to like just drop in that would just kind of like, just lift the energy just a little bit, then I can, I can change the vibe of the room. And I did that and suddenly it was just like, you just felt people cheering and just like, and then you hear it and then it comes from over there and from over there and then you're like, right, okay, now we're all reconnected again on it, we're going in another direction. Yeah. Uh, it's really powerful. I always see it like a first date, mm -hmm. basically. Um, so you start a bit nervous, like you said, you know, you don't know what to expect. You know, you meet the person for the first time and you try to get like a vibe going and then you get in deeper, you get to know someone and then in a perfect scenario, you end up you know mm. and then when it comes to, for me but so did you say you nervous always <laughs> not always <laughs> really yes wow. especially today you know oh no really yeah oh no you got nothing to worry about i'm not i'm not worried you're the most confident excited. artist i think i've ever seen so but that's, <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean i can be nervous well, but i i really enjoy it's like it's i'm excited you know i'm excited yeah. to see what's gonna happen because you never know no dance floor is the same uh-huh sometimes you have a crowd in front of you who's not responding to anything you're doing so you're trying to pull everything out of your hat like like a fucking magician at some point you don't have any rabbits left and you're like <laughs> fuck you know you just have to do your thing smile and just do your thing yeah you play for yourself uh, first and then you know the crowd is invited you know to join in i did a 16 hour back to back with richie Horton once yeah no toilet breaks what <laughs> okay no that <laughs> I don't want to ask. Go strong bladder. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think you have something strapped to your leg. <laughs> uh, for me, it was 10 hours. I think. Okay. Where is she going to lose it? For me, it's like the perfect synergy of all my passions in one. You know, I love to dance. I love uh, music. I love to sing. I'm a very musical person. And DJing is, like I said before, one of the only... Mm, artistries where you get like a direct response to what you're doing mm. as a singer as well you know you, you do something you, you play a track and you get you know immediate feedback if it's good or shit mm -hmm. and you can build on this and this is for me someone someone who's very energetic and someone who's feeding off the energy of the crowd best thing ever yeah <laughs>